there we go so I got all my stuff worked up yesterday everything else is connected here <clears throat> um, about to clean all this mess up and then finish off with our cover here for the wiring harness <laughs> So here's the street legal kit we're going to use for this customer's cart. Got the wire cover for the turn signal switch. There's your brake pad. Comes with the voltage reducer necessary. Comes with the harness that you need to plug in under the dash. Horn kit. Charge receptacle for like cell phone or radio or anything like that. Or Bluetooth speaker or some something that's compatible to be charged by USB port uh, turn signal switch and then of course your headlight assembly headlight and taillight assembly you can see here I have pulled the wiring harness from the rear of the car uh, at this point I'm going to pull the floor mat up and get the rest of the front back this way I'm probably gonna have to move this too not a big deal, but that's where we're going. Okay, so after I removed that right there, the little kick pan that went here what that did is it opened up this hole so I can see that wiring harness for the headlight assembly that runs back and down the frame here or the floorboard rather up up into the dash and then across behind your dash panel so I'm going to remove the screws out of the dash panel one on that side one on this side and then one in the top next to the ball holder. So I like to get my wiring harness. Start with it first, because it's gonna be probably the most pain in the butt for you that there is. So I'm gonna lay out the wiring harness and I'm gonna get all my specialty plugs, like for your brake pad switch, um, your turn signal switch, I'm gonna get those routed into where they need to be. Um, this may call for me to pull back this dash so that way I can get the plugs in behind the steering column, if it'll allow me, we'll see. Uh, but that's that's my next step in all this, so let's get at it. All right guys, so new harness is going back in. Same exact process, it lays in the exact same place. It's just it's how it is, it's the way it comfortably lays in there so you don't have pulling or stretching of any sort no problems later down the road the only difference is is that this particular harness comes with your your wires for the pedal the brake pedal so uh, you just have to keep that in mind as you're routing this to run this over and underneath this plate right here <clears throat> it's a perfect little spot once you route your brake switch harness wires into the little groove here and as I said you're gonna be zip tying this to the wires you can see the wiring harness run down there so what I like to do is I like to come on down here and zip tie that to this and then right there is a little notch in this box I like to take and press this down in here and then that way these wires can be freely right here. You're not going to have a problem. These wires can just be here freely and it's not going to, it's got all the bounce in the world it needs. So uh, it works out perfectly. Um, it's not going to get in the way of your brake rod. It's not going to snag. Uh, <clears throat> and then when you put your pad on the pedal here, it's got some, some wire with it as well. That's going to run right down through here and it's going to connect to this right here so it's pretty straightforward and uh, now I got left to do is, is tuck all this in the batteries and <clears throat> get my T 
tail light wire is all squared away here run back to their position and then we're we're good we're kosher on the on the wiring harness being reinstalled and then we can get to putting the turn signal switch on the headlights on the tail lights and then the voltage reducer so that it can reduce the battery pack voltage down to 12. <laughs> how I do it um, you'll see some of the places like right there that will lay down when you put the mat on it. the idea is just to kind of get it to hug as much of that shape that they have to the wiring harness that way it's a little more seamless and it, it will like when you lay the mat back in here it won't look all weird and lumpy and stuff so yeah uh, I got plenty of zip ties on there um, we are going to go ahead and put the lights on the cart, get them plugged in and, and put back to the body. Um, be sure you clean the body. side super easy two screws some double-sided tape on the back of it pull that tape off stick it to the body put your screws in it's done up here got the new light kit on the front got 
them tail lights on the back. Let's get them turned on here. High beam, low beam. Got the red accent lights on them. Turn signals operating. Horn. And of course our brake lights are burning. So, that's our street legal kit. How we like to do the layout in it. And as I stated before, you see the mat don't have a lump one in it from the wiring harness. Lays in there nicely. And that's going to wrap it up for this beautiful cart. Um, hopefully this will help some of you out when you want to try to do this. It's pretty simple. You just take your time. You know, do what the instructions say. And uh, it'll go pretty clean for you. So, appreciate you guys watching. Hit that subscribe button. Notification bell. We're about to drop some videos.